Free parking has been eliminated in downtown LA's Arts District. This new regulation went into effect at 8 o'clock this morning, but already there has been a big delay because of vandalism there. NBC4's Tracy Leong is live with reaction from people who live and work there, as well as the city. Tracy. Yeah, Colleen, as you mentioned, it was supposed to go into effect this morning at 8 a.m., but take a look. This is the reason why it is being delayed. This is just one of the five new parking kiosks that have been damaged in the Arts District, and I was told that until these get repaired, paid parking just simply can't be enforced. Now, I spoke to some people who live and work here. They're concerned that when this does go into effect, it could negatively impact their neighborhood. New installations have arrived in LA's Arts District, but they're not being welcomed by everyone. It just feels like it's not really the will of the people. It feels like it's not really in support of the community. It feels like it's not done in collaboration with the community. And uh, I, the community is going to respond back. Dancer Charlie Dando has lived in the Arts District for 10 years. He's upset free parking has been eliminated and, like some of his neighbors, was surprised by this change. When they give 40 hours notice, that they're now completely removing the last bastion of parking these people have. Of course people are gonna react that way. There wasn't a two month notice, there wasn't a two week notice. Artist Rod Benson is worried this will hurt the people who are already struggling financially in the neighborhood. I need to maximize everything I can because being an artist just doesn't pay much. And then we're fighting the streets and then we have this happen. Parking spots between 1st and 4th Streets from Alameda Street to Santa Fe Avenue are now metered spaces, charging a dollar an hour with a two hour limit, Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The new parking regulations also affected the layout of certain spaces, changing it from diagonal to parallel, reducing the amount of available parking. We lost uh, automatically about 20 to 25 people who can park and freely roam and shop and, you know, be part of the neighborhood. Um, and it's already hard as it is to get people out here on a regular basis. So the fact that they've done that, it just creates more of a challenge for everybody. Danny Foryuzarsh has owned the store Love Stitch in the Arts District for four years. He's concerned this will limit customers' access to his business and says he was never consulted ahead of time. A spokesperson for the L.A. Department of Transportation released a statement saying in part, the new parking regulations were requested by Arts District businesses, residents, and the City Council office. They were developed by L.A. DOT to increase parking availability for residents and visitors alike and improve access to local businesses. Businesses. However, the launch of the new regulations have been delayed because all five kiosks, as well as the street numbers identifying the locations for the 240 spaces, have been damaged, making them inoperable. The L.A. Department of Transportation tells me they are working closely with LAPD to identify those responsible for damaging the parking kiosks, and they are also working on ways to prevent future damage and vandalism. Reporting live in the Arts District, Tracy Leong, NBC4 News.